Welcome to C2D. Climb to die. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Mickey C, aka The Low Hounds, and welcome to episode 11 of my Climb to Diamond. Last episode, I ended up at 36 LP Platinum 4. After this, I played a few games without face cam, so I'm just going to do some post commentary like I did before. I also played these games Duo Q with JC. He also has a YouTube channel and he's a Trindamere one trick player, so go check him out if you want to. So without further ado, Let's do this. In game number one, I was playing Evelyn in the jungle, and I actually got cheesed by this Rengar. He was only level two, and he had only done his red buff at this point, and I had already done four camps, which means he was probably waiting in that bush for ages. I don't think I've ever seen that strategy before, but he did die a few seconds later, and then in the ninth minute, I was looking to gank the bot lane, got the charm onto Ash, and then I altered but it didn't quite do enough damage because Ash wasn't low enough. But thanks to Ignite, Leona managed to pick up the kill. And then Alistar flashed for the Lucian, but he ended up dying for it. 13 minutes in, my bot lane was playing very aggressive. They picked up a few kills, but Rengar was trying to clean up some kills. But I came at the perfect time. And then in the 17th minute, a fight broke out in the mid lane. We just summoned the Rift Herald. The enemy team were trying to defend their tower. And this led to this fight. It was looking pretty close, but I flashed onto the Ash, picked up that kill, and then headed for the Alistar. But then the enemy team actually surrendered. They surrendered a lot earlier than I would have expected. Five votes to zero in only the 17th minute. Into game number two, and I'm playing Warwick Jungle. The reason I'm not playing Talon is because Trinomia and Talon together is just not a good combination. The enemy team would just stack that armor, stack those ninja tabbies. So in this game, I'm playing Warwick, and I myself got off to a pretty good start getting some nice and early kills. Mostly because this mid lane Aurelia was playing very aggressive, really wanting to kill this Twisted Fate. So I was just using my W passive to get to the fights very quickly, and I was able to pick up a few kills and at one point I was 4-0. So with that lead I myself was pretty strong and I was much stronger than this Nocturne. As you can see I was able to take down this Nocturne using my ultimate. The ultimate comes out from Tarek. The stun onto Tristana. That was the double kill and I ended up flashing for a triple kill. I did end up dying though and I was now 9-1. As the game continued I also continued to pick up kills and eventually we ended up winning the game. Into the next game I decided to play Warwick again after the previous game where I popped off on him and we picked up first blood in the third minute and then in the twelfth minute the two mid laners were going at it. I saw a low fizz and I decided to jump for him. He flashed but that did not keep him alive. A fight broke out in the bot lane, so I just ran straight towards the fight. I decided to go for the Thresh because Ezreal was dead, and so we picked up two kills. At this point, all three lanes had one, but then Janna managed to get herself one shot by the Fizz, and I was taking a lot of damage because Jax was somehow two levels ahead of me. Not sure how, because we had pretty much the same CS, but Ari turned up at the perfect time to pick up a double kill. And then in the 18th minute I managed to get my revenge on the Jax as I took him down but I had to flash away because there were a lot of enemies. Janna went down and I just ran as fast as I could. The enemy team were unable to get any towers and we got Baron so we had all the objectives which means we were super far ahead at this point just because we had all those objectives. Fizz went for the Janna, got the Janna but they did not win this fight. into another game and once again I got Warwick and for you guys who do not know Warwick actually has the number one win rate in the game he's also fairly easy to play so I highly recommend trying him out if you want to play in the jungle they had a mid lane graves and I'm pretty sure he was trolling his summoner name was mid tf so maybe the enemy team 
ban the TF from him, so he decided to go with the Troll Graves pick, and Yasuo had a number of 1v1 kills on him, and Yasuo managed to get himself very fed because of it. As you can see in the 12th minute, Graves was only level 7, while Yasuo was level 9, so Yasuo was very far ahead, and we got another kill. As a team, we had the momentum, and even though this Graves was trolling, he managed to bait me in an awkward situation and actually got a kill onto me. And then in the 22nd minute, I was running away from Zack, but I thought, hey, I, I can actually win this. So I decided to turn around and go for the Zack, killed the Zack, and then Graves, I'm, I have no idea how he turned up over here, but he tried to fight me as well, and I just won the battle. But anyway, the game was pretty easy. Yasuo was just way too far ahead, so we got the Baron, and this led to us ending the game. I was now in my Platinum 3 promos. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to episode 11 of my Climb to Diamond and I'm currently in my Platinum 3 promos. If I win these promos, I'll be back in Platinum 3, which is where I left off. I think I was about Platinum 3, 24 LP before my massive losing streak. Game number one. So, no, that was bad. If I flashed. Yeah, my bad, I wasn't paying attention. Uh, Ramus wasn't there. Yeah. Renekton may be able to carry us though. Oh, I got no mana! You have no mana! So at this point in the game, I was 0-3. Not the best start, but Renekton was doing very well, so I decided to roam to try and help him out, and I managed to get my first kill. Mm, I should have flashed, I guess. I was slowly getting myself back into the game, but I have to admit, I felt like I wasn't playing that well. Another thing that sucked this game is that the enemy team was stacking armor, Gragas, Aatrox, as well as the Jarvan. Eventually, however, in the 36th minute, we actually managed to get a really nice fight. The Ash Arrow coming in clutch, so we took down the Aatrox, and then Jarvan had to flash away. I was looking for the Bard, went through the tunnel, but I got stunned, so I decided to try and help my team. I was going for the Gragas, but I did not realize that my team was not following me, and also the Redemption kind of screwed me over. My team was chasing the Ezreal, but thanks to that fight, as a team, we started to gain some momentum and then we managed to get this pick onto the Jarvan. The hell is that? And in the 40th minute, this ended up being the final fight. I went in, I got stunned, I was spamming my ultimate. I decided to just go for the Bard because he was the easiest target for me. And my team cleaned up the rest. GG, well played. Oh, that was some sort of game. Game number two. Pretty good trade. Oh, he took Windwall level... What the? At this point, I was kind of confused why he didn't take much damage, but then I realized watching the replay, he actually had the rune bone plating, so that makes sense. He hit level 3, man. I thought because he took Windwall, I wouldn't that easy, but I guess the minions did way too much damage. And then he got the level up, so I was screwed. Right, I guess this Yasuo is not the best player. Oh, are you kidding me?
At this point, Yasuo is constantly pressuring the mid lane, so I told my jungler this is easy ganks, but if you see this in slow motion, Yasuo's win wall actually blocked my whole ultimate. At the time, I thought I was definitely past it for it to only stop the one side, but it blocked the whole thing. I would have definitely killed Yasuo, and that pretty much cost me the whole laning phase as I just was too far behind. The rest of the game, I was pretty much just trying to get myself back into the game and trying to get as much gold as possible and then in the 24th minute the enemy team was looking to rush down the baron but we spotted him out and he went in and i managed to pick up a double kill and here is a perfect example of why Yasuo is such an annoying matchup he completely blocked my W and hit my ultimate with just one ability. Regardless, 30 minutes in, this game was still very, very even. And we found a very good engage as I managed to get myself a double kill. And this led to us winning the fight. Things were in our favor and we were about to get the inhib, but can someone tell me what Thresh is doing? I don't understand. Why was Thresh walking to the side there and not helping get the inhib? Anyway, 40 minutes in, the game was still completely even. There was a back and forth happening at Dragon and I saw this as the perfect opportunity to run down mid and just get the inhib, but my team decided to fight so I had to help them out and I got a pretty good ultimate and one shot the Jin, but the last breath from Yasuo completely destroyed my team and we were unable to win it. Game number three. Now game number three, we're gonna have to watch the replay because Classic Hounds forgot to click that record button. So in this game, nice and early, back-to-back -back ganks from Volibear gave me two kills on that Twisted Fate and that allowed me to snowball the lane against the Twisted Fate as I managed to pick up not one, but two solo kills on him in lane. So Twisted Fate was very far behind. He was basically completely useless. So I was able to use that to snowball the bot lane, which gave our team the lead. Throughout the mid game, I continued to pick on this Twisted Fate because he was just easy, easy kills. And at one point he was 0-6. After that, I started to fall off a bit and I guess not play the game as well and actually died a few times. But luckily, my team had a Cogmore and a Jax and Jarvan decided he wanted to be in an episode of Bronze Spectates as he flashed into a wall. And my team was able to win the game without me. There you go, congratulations, you have been promoted to Scions Dragoons, Platinum Division 3, best of luck in the fields of justice. Hopefully I actually recorded the game, I'm not too sure actually, hopefully it did record. This is going to be the end of the video, I hope you guys enjoyed it, if so, drop that like button, and as always, have a nice day.